had made the world the dark along with the light, the sun to watch over the day, the moon to watch over night. Creations God gave light to all, and still God loves each of us. Though clouds and lightnings frighten us, but they will bring the rains that all the plants and creatures need from mountains to the plains. Creations God gave light to all, and still God loves each of us. The oceans sing creation song, the fish and all that eat. All swimming creatures praise God's name and let their song begin. Creations God gave life to all, and still God loves each of us. For God created or made us all, and God the Word redeemed. And God the Spirit fills us still, a three in one indeed. Creations God gave life to all, and still God loves each of us. Blessed be the most holy trinity, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hear this, O Israel. Our God is sovereign and singular. We shall love our God with all our hearts, minds, soul, and strength. Our God alone shall we serve. Hear this, O Israel. We shall love our neighbors as ourselves. On these two great commandments hang all the law and the prophets too. Let us pray. Most high and glorious God, we ask you to guard us, guide us, and bless us on our way. We ask you to teach us your ways, justice and peace, mercy and love. We ask this in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and rules with you and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Remembering that when we gather, we do so with the whole church. Heaven and earth are joined in prayer. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the well-being of the holy churches, for our holy synod of bishops, for myself, your unworthy servant, and for all priests and deacons in Christ, for all the faithful in Christ, and for the unity of all the churches of Christ, that together we may labor in love for the sake of God's kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who govern us in our land, for leaders throughout the world, may their minds be filled with wisdom and their hearts be filled with love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remembering the holy God-bearer, Blessed Mary, and all who are in communion with God, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our lives to Christ Jesus. Amen. Lift up your voices and give glory to our God, the Eternal Shepherd. Kadisha kala, Kadisha kala tanda, Kadisha lama yuta, Ephraim male, Aios oteos, Aios iskiros, Aios atamto. Ele sonima Sanctus Deus Sanctus Fortis Sanctus Immortalis Miserere Nobis Give glory to the Holy One, source of all peace to the eternal word Jesus Christ, and to the Holy Spirit, who breathes life into all creation, 
now and forever and unto ages of ages. Amen and Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. A reading from the book of Genesis. Realizing that their father was dead, Joseph's brothers said, What if Joseph still bears a grudge against us and pays us back in full for all the wrong that we did to him? So they approached Joseph, saying, Your father gave this instruction before he died. Say to Joseph, I beg you, forgive the crime of your brothers and the wrong they did in harming you. Now, therefore, please forgive the crime of the servants of God before your father. Joseph wept when they spoke to him. Then his brothers also wept, fell down before him, and said, We are here as your slaves. But Joseph said to them, Do not be afraid. Am I in the place of God? Even though you intended to do harm to me, God intended it for good, in order to preserve a numerous people, as he is doing today. So have no fear. I myself will provide for you and your little ones. In this way, he reassured them, speaking kindly to them. This is the word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Welcome those who are weak in faith, but not for the purpose of quarreling over opinions. Some believe in eating anything, while the weak eat only vegetables. Those who eat must not despise those who abstain, and those who abstain must not pass judgment on those who eat, for God has welcomed them. Who are you to pass judgment on servants of another? It is before their own Lord that they stand or fall, and they will be upheld, for the Lord is able to make them stand. Some judge one day to be better than another, while other judge all days to be alike. Let all be fully convinced in their own minds. Those who observe the day, observe it in honor of the Lord. Also those who eat, eat in honor of the Lord, since they give thanks to God, while those who abstain, abstain in honor of the Lord, and give thanks to God. We do not live to ourselves, we do not die to ourselves. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ died and lived again, so that he might be Lord of both the living and the dead. Why do you pass judgment on your brother or sister? Or you, why do you despise your brother or sister? For we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. For it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So then, each of us will be accountable to God. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Peter came and said to Jesus, Lord, if another member of the church sins against me, how often should I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, Not seven times, but I tell you, seventy-seven times. For this reason the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his slaves. When he began the reckoning, one who owed him ten thousand talents was brought to him. As he could not pay, his Lord ordered him to be sold, together with his wife and children and all his possessions, and payment to be made. So the slave fell on his knees before him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the Lord of that slave released him and forgave him the debt. 
But that same slave, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow slaves, who owed him a handful of denarii. And seizing him by the throat, he said, Pay what you owe. Then his fellow slave fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. But he refused. Then he went and threw him into prison until he would pay the debt. When his fellow slaves saw what had happened, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to their lord all that had taken place. Then his lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked slave, I forgave you all the debt because you pleaded with me. Should you not have had mercy on your fellow slave as I had mercy on you? And in anger his lord handed him over to be tortured until he would pay his entire debt. So my heavenly Father will also do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother or sister from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Forgiveness. Kind of a troubling concept for human beings because we get mad. We get really, really angry. And a lot of times, very justifiably so. Horrible things happen and people respond to those things. But God calls us to mercy. God calls us to forgiveness. God calls us to smooth the ways, forgive the sins, and become better people. We all know the story of Joseph. His brothers were all upset with him because his dad doted on him. So they beat him up and threw him in a pit and then sold him into slavery. Yeah, not exactly the kind of brothers you, you want to deal with on a regular basis, you know? They sold you off into slavery, and then they told her dad, oh, he was killed by a mouse. Then the famine came, and Joseph, who had prospered in Egypt, took his brothers back, and his brothers' children, and took care of them. And the whole tribe of Israel survived the horrible famine because of Joseph. And Joseph forgave from his heart. There was weeping and crying and sadness and forgiveness. They asked Jesus, so, so how many times should I forgive? Seven? Seven's a good round number in the Hebrew scriptures. Hebrew thought process, sevens are answers. No, not sevens, 70 times seven. Whoa, what? A whole lot, a big, huge number. And in our personal lives, we have trouble with that. We have difficulty forgiving. We have difficulty letting go because we've been hurt. It's no fun to be hurt. It's no fun to be in pain. It's certainly no fun to have horrible things happen to your family. But forgiveness, deeply from inside, frees you in many, many ways. It's not easy. A lot of times it's not fun. But working through those issues that we have with people who have harmed us can make us much happier people and much more the children of God that God wishes to see. May it be so. Let us stand and proclaim the beliefs we share with all the church including those who came before us and those who will come after us. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. 
Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now let us confess our sins and failings, with clear minds and hearts and humbled spirits, with eyes downward and hands and hearts raised to God. Most Holy Trinity, in you is our life. In your mercy and grace, forgive us our sins. May we never be separated from you. We are members of Christ's body. Please count us worthy to stand with a humble heart and bold spirit in your living presence now and always. May the living God absolve us from all of our sins and make us worthy to celebrate these holy mysteries so that we may stand as we do now before God on that last day. May the grace and love and the fellowship of the living God be with us all, now and forever under the ages of ages. Amen. Confident in the forgiveness of our loving God, let us make known our prayers and petitions. For justice and peace. For refugees and exiles. For the lost and the lonely. For the widowed and the orphan. For our families and friends for the sick and the suffering, for ourselves, for all who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith. All these prayers we make in the name of Jesus who lives now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O God, holy and mighty, who accepts the sacrifice of praise from your people, Accept the prayers we now offer to you. Help us to offer these gifts which we have been given for our sake and for all of creation. Grant us the grace to be a living sacrifice acceptable to you. We ask this in the name of Jesus, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The grace and peace of God, the source of all being, the love of the Lord Jesus, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you, and also with you. We always give thanks to you, O Holy One, through your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ, whom in the last days you sent us as a servant, a Savior, a Redeemer, and messenger of your will. Jesus is your eternal Word. In him all things are created. In him you are well pleased. You sent Jesus from heaven into the Virgin Mary's womb by the power of the Holy Spirit who was made flesh and blood in Mary's womb, born for us, a Savior, and brother, and servant of all. <clears throat> Fulfilling your will, and gaining for you a holy people, Jesus was willing to stretch out his hands and suffer, so that all who believe in you may never suffer eternal death. When Jesus was betrayed, he willingly gave up his life, so that death would be destroyed, so that the bonds of the evil one would be broken, and hell trod down forever. Before his death, he took bread, and gave thanks to you, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which shall be broken for you. Likewise he took the cup, saying, This is my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which is shed for you. When you do this, remember me. Remembering the death and resurrection of Jesus, we offer to you, Holy One, this bread and cup, giving you thanks because you hold us worthy to stand before you and minister to you, these holy mysteries. We ask that you would send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon this offering of your church, and gathering her unto you, 
May you grant to all who receive these holy gifts a sharing in your Holy Spirit. May this Holy Spirit strengthen us in faith, hope, and love, so that we may walk in your way and enjoy praising you forever. For it is through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen, 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 Amen. It is the Holy Spirit who prompts us to pray the words learned from Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The bread we break, is it not a sharing in the body of Christ? The cup we share, is it not a sharing in the blood of Christ? We who eat this bread and drink this cup shall have life everlasting. God shall raise us up on that last day. Here are God's gifts for God's people. Remember that Christ has died for you. Partake of this heavenly food and drink with hearts full of thanks and praise. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. We have feasted on God's holy word and this holy banquet. Made bold, let us make known our prayers and petitions. For justice and peace throughout the world. For the sick and the suffering. For refugees and exiles. For prisoners 
and the lonely, for widows and orphans, for our families and friends, for ourselves, for all who have gone before us. and for all of those prayers held deeply in our hearts, known to God alone. These prayers we make in the name of Jesus Christ, who lives now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. May this worship bear fruit in our lives. May God be praised in our words and deeds. May we walk with God and be blessed in the name of God, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit. We ask this now and forever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve. Thanks be to God.